Hello guys and welcome to Trace Team. If you guys are new to the channel, do not forget to click the subscribe button so you guys don't miss none of the videos that I post. In today's video guys, The View cannot accept defeat. I don't know if you guys haven't watched or even heard about the presidential debate, but I can tell you guys Biden's performance during the debate was not it. And they can't accept the fact that what happened during the debate millions of people have seen you know that debate showed a lot of people of what's actually going on behind closed doors but guys check this video out four years ago when when you debated him you must i mean that that's certainly true is it not i'm not going to spend all night with you talking about the last 90 minutes well, when i've been watching the last three and a half years of performance wow. okay so uh, let me ask you is it even possible to replace biden at this stage of the game and have republicans considered replacing their candidate as sonny pointed out with someone who isn't a twice impeached serial liar and a convicted felon <laughs> well clearly clearly the republicans have not right as anna just mentioned yeah. they're, they're not going to do they're going to fall in line unlike the democrats um i liked what i saw from kamala i liked what i saw from gavin she said he had a slow start but a strong finish but i've been watching him for three and a half years and i know what he can do with kamala uh the vice president excuse me uh, by his side, that gives me great comfort. Uh, with Gavin Newsom as a potential successor, that gives me great comfort. I have no comfort in who would succeed Donald Trump because he has said that he's going to be a dictator from day one. So guys, there you have it. The View cannot accept the defeat. I don't know what part of the debate that they may heard, watch, or seen, but I seen a total different debate, you know? At the end of the day, it all comes down to, do you think that President Biden can last another few months or a few years in office? And the answer is no. And many Democrats are saying the same thing. And I knew that Joy Behar was going to bring up, hey, but Trump's a convicted felon. Trump's this, Trump that. Yeah, but did you pay attention to how he was supposedly convicted? No, you, you probably didn't. But to me, Trump wouldn't have been convicted if he didn't say that he was going to run for presidency. If he would have said he wasn't going to run, this probably would have never came up. But guys, let me know in the comment section what you guys think about today's video that'll be a wrap today's video and i'll see you guys on the next one take care